The Liberal MP is facing some serious charges, including assault and breaking and entering. CBC's Ashley Burke joins us now with the latest information on this case. Hey there, Ashley. Uh, what can you tell us about these charges? Uh, well, Catherine, uh, Guelph police have confirmed, as you mentioned, that Marwin Tabera has been charged with two counts of assault, one count of break and enter and committing an indictable offense, and one count of criminal harassment. Now, he's the Liberal MP for Kitchener South in Ontario. He was first elected in 2015, and these charges are dated for April 10th of this year. Um, police didn't put out a press release at the time, but sources are saying that this is in connection to an incident that involved a partner or a former partner. Now, CBC was in touch with Tubera's office, who said that they are not commenting right now. And just a little bit more information about him. He chairs Parliament's uh, commit, subcommittee on international human rights. He also sits on the special committee on the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, I understand you've reached out to the Prime Minister's office about this. Ashley, what are they saying? The Prime Minister's office says that they are looking into this. We know that the Prime Minister in the past has had very little tolerance for allegations of harassments against women or other people. Uh, there have been several cases where he has uh, bounced people from caucus over allegations that have surfaced. You know, the most recent case was in 2018. And these charges really raise questions around whether or not uh, Tubera will be allowed to stay in caucus or could be suspended until his court date, which is on uh, June 19th or even beyond that. Okay, thank you very much for the latest on this story. The CBC's Ashley Burke. We have just received a statement from Liberal MP Marwan Tabara. I'd like to read you part of it. As we told you earlier in the show, our, the CBC's Ashley Burke, uh, he is facing criminal charges. He acknowledges that in this statement that we've just received. He says, I'm, I'm currently facing criminal charges which arose in April. There are mandatory steps that must be taken to address a criminal case, and those steps uh, take time, particularly with delays due to the pandemic. Meanwhile, I continue receiving counseling and treatment for anxiety and depression, which I have been living with for some time. Other than to state unequivocally that every incident of violence is unacceptable and inexcusable, it would be inappropriate for me to comment further while this matter is before the court. In the interim, I will be stepping back from the Liberal caucus. Meanwhile, I continue to work diligently for my constituents as their member of parliament, assisting them in accessing services and benefits to which they are entitled from their federal government assigned statement. So uh, removing himself from the Liberal caucus while this process is ongoing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.